Hey everyone, it's Marco here from the Thema team and as you all know, music makes the world go around. However, quite a few people were having trouble with creating music widgets within Thema. So that is the topic for today's video, which is how to create effective music widgets within Thema. Let us begin. Great, so if you have applied more than two to three themes within Thema, you may see that it comes with these beautifully designed music widgets that complement the theme very well and come in very handy if you're a fan of music. Now you might be thinking, well Marco, do I have to be an expert in rocket surgery in order to create one of these widgets? And the short answer is no. The long answer is, well, that's what this video is for. So before we begin, there's just a few things I want to point out with you guys in order to make creating a music widget a whole lot easier. Now as you know, Thema comes with a few built-in widgets that makes the job of creating a home screen widget a whole lot easier. Now there are two widgets that you can use, Everything Widget and Thema Zoop Widget, and each comes with their own pros and cons. Zoop Widget, as a lot of you may already know, comes with endless possibilities when it comes to creating a home screen widget, as there's just so much you can do with it. However, there is limitations to this, and a lot of people may notice that there is some lag when creating a music widget within Zoop Widget. The reason for that is that Zupo renders everything in a widget as a single image. Everything widget, on the other hand, renders each layer of a widget as its own bitmap. So if you have a Zupo widget with very few layers, then you won't notice this lag. However, if you do have quite a few layers, you will notice the lag getting worse and worse. So when it comes to creating a music widget within Thema, we highly recommend going with Everything Widget simply because it makes your job of skipping through songs and playing and then stopping music a whole lot quicker and a whole lot more responsive. So pretty much stick with Everything Widget when creating a music widget for Thema. Great, so hopefully you understand a bit more now on which built-in widgets to use when creating a music widget. As now we're going to be creating our very own one right at the top here. I know that there is one over here, but we're just going to remove it for the sake of this video and create our own one right there. So to start things off, you want to definitely make sure that you're in unlock mode. I guess you could call it that. You're going to hold down on the home screen, select advance and unlock widgets. And this will enable you to get rid of any widgets that are currently in your way. Always make sure that you want to make a backup just in case you make any mistakes and you just want to re-import that theme that you last had. So check in the link in the description below if you don't know how to do that. But let's get to it. Now I'm going to hold down on this area right here and I'm going to be selecting widgets of course because I want to be adding in a widget. And I'm going to be selecting the Thema Everything widget because well I'm going to hold down and drag that onto the home screen. Quick and simple like that. I can now of course resize it to the size that I want. I want it fairly large, so I'm going to make it about that size and I might change it later on if I need to. Now of course if you want to change it later on, you can just hold down on the widget and select resize and change it accordingly. I just tap back now, but if I want to go into the configuration, I just want to select this area and this will now open up the everything widget configuration toolbox, I guess you could call it. As you can see it's completely blank because we've just added in a blank new widget. And we can select this little plus icon that brings up all the different information that you can add within everything widget. We are not worried about any of this. The only one that we are worried about is the one here titled music. And as you can tell, this is where all your music controls as well as cover art can be added. So we're going to start things off with a cover art or album art. And if we select it now, you can see that it's now been added. Now there are a few options to choose from here. If we select our style and select our scale, we can now make it bigger or smaller depending on what size that you would want it. I think that looks pretty good right over there, so I'm gonna leave it at that. Next, you can go into the music cover art options here, whereby you can attach a photo, and you've added a few more options here. For example, you can select hide when pause, and that's pretty cool because it adds some more features here. For example, you can have a weather icon that's underneath this album art that only displays when your music is paused because of course, you don't need to have that album art always displaying when there's no music playing. So that comes in pretty handy and you can of course change the background image if you so wish. So that is the album art done. We can now add in some more if you want. For example, you can add in the artist information just by dragging it, putting it where you want. Now, because it's text, it comes with a lot more style options to choose from here. For example, the size, the text color, the angle, the font, you name it, it pretty much can do it within everything widget. So I'm just gonna be changing the font right now. I'm gonna go into my choose font, and I'm just gonna be selecting the collab thin because, well, the rest of the fonts are quite thin and it does suit the theme very well. So I'm just gonna drag that into the middle here. And the one thing that you do wanna take note is that if you change your style, going into the alignment settings, you always wanna have it either on left 
centered or right aligned just to make your job a whole lot easier because now for example I'm going to place that in the middle and of course if you want to change the album artist then you don't want it to have it always on one side you always want it to be displayed in the middle so just take note of that and I'm just going to get that more in the line and I've just done the same to the song title over there so if we tap back we can see now already it's coming into play and looking really good. Tapping it once again will then bring up the editor. So we can start adding in some buttons now. For example, the next button, we can just select it like that. And there it is, it's been added. Very simple to do. You can of course change the style or change the scale and make it bigger or smaller depending on how you want it. And you can of course change the photo. For example, if you don't like that image, you can say choose image and then choose something of your liking. However, you may notice that your images are bitmaps and making them a lot bigger can degrade the quality somewhat. So there is a trick to this and it works out really well. So Bill from the Thema team has done something extraordinary. He's created a font that's specifically designed for different music player icons. Now, what exactly do you do here? Well, you select a text option now as we're going to be placing in some text. Now you might be thinking, well, what's that got to do with adding in an icon? Well, what you're going to do now is select your style, select your font, choose your font. And if you scroll a bit down, you can see that there is some general looking fonts here, but you might scroll a bit more down and see that there are some strange ones looking here, especially ones that look like, well, media icons. So if you select that right now, you can see that they've now been changed to music icons, which is awesome. Now I'm just going to rename one. So it just displays a next icon. And in order to do that, you just go into your text, your set text, and then you can change it from here. So just by typing out the letter T, you can of course change the range from A to Z and see which icon looks best for you. But that one looks pretty neat. It's very minimal. So if I select back now, I want to get rid of this one, get just drag it away and change the size of that text. Pretty weird calling it text, but you can now re reposition it to over there, tap back. But now what happens is, well, that's just simple text. When you click on it, you want it to change to the next track. So if you select text, select your hotspot now as now because you're going to be setting a hotspot to that very text over there you're going to say choose your action and from here we can now choose whatever action that we require so sticking within the theme of actions you want to scroll all the way to the bitty bottom and you want to be selecting next and that's going to allow you that when you select that icon there it's going to jump to the next track quick and simple like that all i'm going to do now is to replicate that on this side for the previous track and then set the hotspot to the previous track as well. Remember, just a little quick way of getting it to look just like that. You wanna go into your style. You wanna go into copy text style and look for the one that's just titled T. And there it is, quick and simple like that. I can now just rename that as the letter Q in order to get it to the same look of that previous icon. Great, so lastly, you just wanna add in a play pause icon or text and what you can either do, you can either go into your music right now, you can select the play pause, which we remember adds in that icon, or you can select play pause text. Now, why did I select the play pause text? As remember, we added in text for these icons here. Well, you wanna do exactly the same for these. However, this time around, we wanted to change according to if the music is playing or not. So in order to do that, we just need to go back into our style. You wanna copy that text style and you wanna make it the same as the ones that we currently have. As you can see, it's a little bit confusing. However, if we go into set text and we can change them to whichever one that we currently want. So I just set the text to a Q when the music is playing so that it shows a pause icon because that pretty much makes sense. And then of course a capital R when the music is paused so that it'll display a play icon, which also makes sense. So you wanna select back now. You can of course change whatever else that you want in this very music widget. You can say add in a border to your album art. I even added in a little weather icon there that I first had to remove the album art, add in the weather icon and then re-add it as the developers are still looking into rearranging the different modules. So let's just test it out. If we select back now, as you can see, there's no music currently playing. So it shows my little weather icon there, which looks pretty neat. However, when I select the play icon, it'll start playing the music just like that. You can select the next button and as you can see, instantly it changes the track a lot quicker than Super Widget would. So I always just keep that in mind. And of course, pushing that pause button will bring it back to its default state. So that completes this video, guys. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please give us a thumbs up as well as to please subscribe to the My Color Screen channel if you haven't already, as we'll be bringing you a lot more Thema related videos to help you guys out to create amazing looking widgets. So if you have any ideas what you'd like to see, 
please do let us know in the comments section below it'll also help us out tremendously and do not worry there are still tons of fixes and updates coming regarding not only the music widgets but other updates coming for Thema as well so you better stay tuned as like I said there are big things coming soon so that completes this video guys thank you very much for watching Marco here from the my color screen channel and as always don't start customizing